Now you might heard that Photoshop just introduced a new AI feature, but let me show you what this new AI feature can do. ITMEJP from Twitter, with this image, what he's doing is in Photoshop, he's selecting the area on the right side and asking Photoshop to replace this with a kid. And as you can see, <laughs> Photoshop with its AI feature instantly replaced the image with a kid. Let me show you that in full zoom. So we have this happening. Okay, well, this is loading and bam. And there you can see even the shadows are pretty, pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. Now let's take a look at another example. So this is from the Twitter user Phot Photoshop Tricks. As you can see at the bottom, we have an empty space. And what is really amazing with this new AI feature in Photoshop is that you can ask it to reimagine an empty space that would be continue the continuation of your original image. And you can see it already made uh, the, and the rest of the image. It imagined the rest of the image uh, with a couple of leaves on the floor. Okay, now you, you're gonna get three different variations and you can select the one that you like. But you can also change it again because maybe you want a lake or a river reflection, okay? And he just types in a lake or a river and it, the AI tool instantly gives you this new feature, this new, this new image. And take a look, even the reflections are looking very, very realistic. Good, let's take another example here. This is gonna be really, really cool. Here we have an image with a couple of horses and two kids. Now, as you can see, okay, we can make the image longer. I mean, we can extend the area of the image and we can add a reflective water surface. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, there you have it. We have even the reflections. And now we're going to do something that as a kid, we always wanted, right? We always wanted a magical being, a magical horse. And that horse is a unicorn, and we're gonna create it in a second inside Photoshop. Bam, there you have it. And we can even change the sky right here. Bam, there's the image. So this is how the image looked before, and this is how the image looks after. Absolutely stunning. Let's take a look at another example here. So what if you just want to forget all about 2020 and you just wanna remove all the masks from all images that you have. Bam, you can do that. All you got to do is just select the masked area, co give a command, let's zoom in. You remove the mask, you just ask it to remove the mask and bam, it gave you already three different variations of your face. And again, you can do it, uh, remove the mask also of your friend and so on. Pretty cool, Edu Mock is the inventor of this uh, exact example. Good, let's move on. We just ask Photoshop to reimagine the rest of this image based on this square image and based on the album cover right here. Okay, and as you can see, these are the examples. So pretty amazing from this to this. And from this, I think that's Drake, right? Let's take a look, yeah. So let's take a look again. This is this is the original and this is what we got. Pretty cool. Okay, made by Trent AI. Next, this is really cool. So let's say you're in a hiking trip and you wanna make that photo more exciting. You can add a magical towel on the mountains and you can just add a couple of trees and you can add a couple of rivers and lakes and now you have a much better story to tell about to your friends. So you see, this is what Photoshop can do with its new AI features. A couple of extra uh, examples here with the Pope changing clothes from Brian Rommel. Uh, here's a cool one. Uh, in case you just hate shopping and don't have the time, you can just change your clothes inside Photoshop with a click. You select the area that you want to change, like this, and bam, ask it. Let's see what uh, what's what's being asked. A party dress, 
Let's let's get a party dress. Oh, that's nice. So we have a party dress right here. You don't need to go shopping. You can just Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. This one is from Victoria White. Let's move on. Mm, this is the original Adobe demonstration. Pretty cool. This is an image where we we don't have the top of the head and we don't have the bottom of the um, from the neck down of this guy and we can just ask Photoshop to imagine it and bam bam like that you can change your haircut here you know maybe I could even have some hair uh, yeah let's move on here's another cool example where we change clothes inside Photoshop in a, with a click from Dr. Helen Pagani Pagayanis, okay, and this is a cool one for all you pirates out there. So, if if you want to have a pet and you feel lonely on a on an island or on a ship, you can imagine that pet. You may add a bird, and um, yeah, now you can feel like a real pirate. And this one was created by Andrew. Price. So now you see what can be done. Now, how can you do this inside Photoshop? And let me show you. Now, the first step is that you need to install the Photoshop beta app. Because at the moment that I'm recording this tutorial, this feature, this AI feature is still in the beta version of Photoshop. So when you go to all your apps and you see Photoshop, even though it's up to date, it's not including this new feature yet so then all you got to do is of course open up your creative cloud app and then go to beta apps here at beta apps and then you need to install photoshop beta it's gonna look something like this and you click on install and it will install for you photoshop beta this is the one that has the ai features now let's open this one up and let's play around in it I'm going to click here on the crop tool and just make and now we're going to just get some uh, magic generation here and I'm going to click on generate right here I'm going to create generate Again, I'm gonna type, I'm not gonna type in anything. I just wanna see what it is gonna generate for me now. So now let's just zoom in and let's see what we have. Okay, option one is this, pretty interesting. Option two is this, not bad. Option three is this. <laughs> okay, let's keep this one, good. Now what I wanna do is I wanna do some, um, I wanna, do a hair makeover so I'm gonna click on the lasso tool and I'll select this area here where there should be some hair but there isn't any so I'm gonna click on generative fill and I'm gonna just type in hair and I'm gonna click on generate and let's see what it does okay so we have hair take a look bam which one is the best I'm gonna go with this one okay let's click away and there you have it now I have hair so what we can take what 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 can we do with this tool I think we can do a lot now it does have a couple of limitations because you see that it added uh, one hand and the second hand here and my fingers are looking kind of strange so it's still in beta and it's still getting better. Now, if you really want to get in AI and really want to make some cool stuff with it, not just edit an image, but create images from scratch, create realistic images, animate images, create entire videos, entire movies, then I invite you to the AI Creators Club. Check it out and I'll show you exactly how you can make videos, how you can make movies just like this one, whether you want to be with your face, where you want to be on camera, or if you'd prefer to not be on camera and create faceless videos where a different face or a different character is on camera, 
then I'll show you that also. Okay, so check out the AI Creators Club from bluefx.net and I'll see you in the next video in a couple of seconds.